brought out my big basket. Let's go grocery shopping. The edge of this bed is dotted with dragon tongue beans. Let's go get some. I love the stripes on these and when they get boiled, they disappear and turn solid white. Last handful, there was quite a bit more than I thought. There's a lot of noodle beans. I think I'll pick them tomorrow because I only brought one basket out. And I still got to grab peppers and tomatoes. Oh, this one grew very funny. Oh no, I think I can still save it. Are you here to help me harvest? They're getting a little bit sunburnt, but I'll cut off the bad part. Oops, sorry girl, didn't mean to drop that on you. And we'll grab this lemon cucumber while I'm here. Ooh, purple peppers. I don't know what these ones are called, but they're really pretty. They're like a lighter purple. And we'll grab the tomatoes that are showing signs of blush. I'll let them ripen inside. Oh no, this one's on the ground. I wonder if it'll ripen inside, or maybe I could just cut it up and fry it. A couple romas. And lastly, we'll grab some cherries. Those aren't ripe, those are blueberry cherries, but these are the ripe versions. Aren't they so pretty? Oop, that one's cracked. You guys want some? I think these are chocolate cherries. They're really pretty and that one kind of fused together. We'll grab some yellow pears. They're all kind of split down the middle, but they're good if I eat them right away. I didn't get to harvest everything that I wanted, but there's always tomorrow. And here's why I ended up grabbing today. Look at all of this abundance. I'll definitely be freezing a lot of the peppers for winter use and probably the beans too. There is a lot of tomatoes. The husband and I have been able to eat almost all of them and I've been freezing all the romas as they ripen inside.